Okay, so I'm starting a new vlog. I just posted my vlog from like a week and a half ago. So much has happened this past week that, and for me, it wasn't my, like, although I've been vlogging for a while. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. I'll tell you why in a minute. Well, look at those storm clouds. Holy cannoli. Um, what was I going to say? So, although I've been vlogging for a while, it's still not natural for me to immediately pick up the, my, my phone and start, like, videotaping. So, so much has happened, which is why I haven't been vlogging, which why I have not been putting any videos up. First, I had, like, I don't know, I literally filmed my Pop Sugar unboxing, and no lie, I went to go edit it, and the whole first half of the video was gone. I don't know if I thought I hit record, and it didn't record, or I don't know what happened. All I know is that I clicked on, the only footage I have is like probably the last three minutes of the video, which is basically like two products, me being like, thanks for watching, you know, whatever. So I'm like, okay, well that was a bust. I mean, I will say the Pop Sugar box was good. It wasn't like, oh my God. If it was an oh my God box, I would have literally refilmed it easily because we've had a couple of those. So, oh my God, these clouds are unreal. There is a major storm coming. Okay, I need to get where I'm going. I have to go pick up my paycheck and then go to my P.O. box and then pick up Cameron at football camp. So then, so there, there was that. Then, I went to work Thursday night. This was, today is Wednesday. So a week ago Thursday night, went to work. I don't know what I did. I honestly wish I had a better story, but I was like, you know how you like bend down, like bend your knees and you kind of go on your tippy toes? I felt this pain when I got to back up like around my ankle. Didn't think anything of it though because I was walking fine the rest of the night. The next morning I wake up and it still hurts. When I put my weight on it, it was like, okay, it's uncomfortable. As the day went on, it was so much, it was so painful. And I'm thinking to myself, how the hell am I gonna work tonight? So of course me, my, the, my work ethic, I go to work no matter what. Um, I get dressed, I can barely walk, literally. I'm, I can't walk normal, I'm, work, I'm walking with a severe limp at this point. And if I'm like, and driving was okay, of course it's my right foot, but it was to break, to press, the, it, was, it was awful. So I, I limp into work, they look at me and they go, you can't work like that. And I'm like, what do you mean, I just stand there. It's like, really? So yeah, so then I went from, from work to home to chains and I went straight to urgent care. I sprained my ankle. I don't know how I sprained. I don't even know if it really was a sprain at this point because there was no bruising. It, well, there was swelling, but there was no bruising. So I don't know if I just kind of pulled the muscle. I have no idea. Whatever muscle or ligament that's connected to my like big toe, like my toes, that's whatever, whatever I did affected that muscle because when I wiggled my toes, it was like, oh my God. So I had crutches. I had a sprain. I can't really vlog with crutches. So there went the weekend vlogging. So there was that. Then, oh my God, like this is, you, everything that could possibly happen has happened today, this week. So that happened. So today is Wednesday, Tuesday. So Monday night, I didn't work. I have a doctor's note saying I can't work until Friday. Um, my son comes home from being out probably, actually no, this was Sunday night. Comes home around 11.30, quarter 12. Monday was the first day of my of my Patrick, my 13 year old uh, morning football workouts for the high school. They start at 6 a.m. So I go downstairs at like 5.30 to wake him up because he rides his bike to the high school. The back door is open. I'm thinking, oh God, Leo got out, here we go. So I go to, I can't, I'm like distracted really badly today. I go outside, I go, Leo, Leo comes running in. I'm like, okay, so I close the door. All of a sudden he starts crying and then starts like scratching up the door like he wants to go back out. And I'm like, what are you doing? You're never like this. And then I'm like, oh my God, Peanut got out. Now Peanut is my oldest cat. She's 18. I've had her longer than my kids. She is my first baby and I'm and she's very old and she's very frail and I'm thinking, oh my God, oh my God. I spent I went first I'm like okay no wait a minute maybe she's just hiding in the house so like literally at 5 30 in the morning I'm going through my entire house going crazy looking for her can't find her spent the entire day like if you follow me on Fitbit I walked 10,000 steps on for on on, on Monday 
just walking the neighborhood finding her. Now, mind you, I still have a sprained ankle, so I'm walking with a limp. I was at that point, I had rested my ankle like all weekend, so I was able to put a little more pressure on it. It was definitely feeling better. Side note, I'm definitely much better today. Like, I'm not even walking with crutches. I'm still wrapping it, but it's I'm walking somewhat normal now. Kind of, and I'll tell you why in a second. So anyways, I'm like distraught. I'm a mess. I can't find her. My oldest son is feeling horrible because he left the door open. Everyone's telling me like, don't worry about it. Cats have a way of finding their way back home. Like, you know, but I'm thinking to myself, it's hot out. She's 18. She's frail. She's never been out of the house. Oh my God. She can't, can she defend herself? Like she's just so little and frail. I'm a wreck all day go to baseball Friday or Monday night, come home from baseball, literally sit out, thank God it was a gorgeous night out, sat outside for two hours, did not move, two hours, just calling her name, getting up here and there, calling her name, walking around, you're not going to let me in, you're going to be an ass, okay, guess what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut you off, anyways, don't do that children, so... I go back in the house finally. I start reading some of my, uh, my book. I'm still reading Discover of Witches. I do like it. Um, and then about an hour later, I go back outside to the back. Now there's food and water outside. So I do that. Don't see her. Walk up and down the street calling her name. Go back in the house and I'm walking towards my front door and there's a curtain on my front door because we have a window. I move the curtain to look outside across the street. I see this little figure walking towards the house and I know it's her. I know the silhouette. I know it's her. I'm like, oh my God. I fly open. The, this is like 1130 at night. I fling open the door. I run outside. I call her name. She kind of stops. Then she kind of lays down. I pick her up and just hold her and just start crying. Like it was the most tearful reunion ever. I start Bawling. Like, this was, like, my child. I mean, she basically is. She's my first child. I don't even know if she's bleeding or not. I'm just holding her. So then I come inside. My husband's like, oh, my God, is she okay? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I put her down. She's not bleeding. She's limping really bad. But she does have bad arthritis. So I'm like, okay. So at first I was going to call the vet. But then I'm like, you know what? She's, like, severely dehydrated. Let's let her, like acclimate back in get her hydrated and see so it's now Wednesday she's walking much better now she's drinking so she's good but my god I can't even tell you so then that was Monday night's adventure Tuesday I go get my nails done I love the color it's like a nude pinkish color and no lie I get a pedicure too, which I don't get pedicures very often. She smooths my feet out. This is my excuse, I think. I was walking around barefoot. I walked down the stairs. My feet come out from under me, literally come out from under me. My butt bounces off of one stair and lands on another. My tailbone, I think I bruised my tailbone. I mean, ow. Ow, I can't even tell you ow. Like driving right now, it's sore. As long as I sit and like move most of my weight forward, I'm fine. Ow. What do you do for a bruised tailbone? Like I, I'm going to sit on an ice pack. Oh my God. I'm so, like, I am so ax. I don't know what. So this week, so this is why this vlog is starting on Wednesday. Like it usually does. My goal is from now on to vlog Friday to Friday. And my, well, okay, really? And my vlogs to now go up on Friday, so I don't know if that. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna vlog today, Wednesday to next week, Friday, and that's gonna be my next vlog. So it'll be like a longer vlog. So, anyways, that's been the week. That right now, I'm now on my way to get my paycheck. So we'll see. Hopefully, this week will be less adventurous. But yeah. So again, I apologize for being MIA. That is what's been going on. And yeah.
the people that don't know how to drive, they start driving at the same time. Or they, it's like, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Okay, so hubby and I are having a fun day evening out. We have a friend of ours that took the little one, well he's not really a little one, but he's eight, to the Cape for the weekend. Um, and we went, just went to the mall. My hair was done yesterday. I haven't vlogged really. I've got this new jean jacket. I'm like so loving it. So right now we're just, he's running in the store to get me some milk for my shake and then we're gonna go up to the beach and maybe get some dinner and some drinks and just have a fun adult night out. I'm super excited. I'm going to vlog as much as I can because I want to. And yeah. Yay. <laughs> trying to get zoom in on, on the barge. Yeah. Oh, you get, when you video and you can't zoom. Yeah, I can. Really? In my camera, on my phone, I can. On our way to Salem. Yep. Like it, hun? I do. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. All the one, these were all the wishes that were hung. Oh, is this where they were hung? Yeah. No, I don't think these were hung. Oh. September 20th, this, these were all the hangings. Yeah. On September 22nd. We can do that. So can. John Proctor. Yep. He did a lot of strange stuff. He was like the That's what you hear about. Um, that's what you hear about in the, in the Witch Museum. Yeah. The... Sarah Good. We are playing pool, enjoying Salem's finest bar, the Village Tavern. You must come if you are going to be in Salem. He just missed it. Your shot? My shot? Your shot. Okay. My shot. So I looked on the Aaron Condren website. 
and it said that my local Staples has Anaconda now. So, like, oh my god. So now I am going to Staples right now before I pick up my Starbucks and find out because that is huge. Oh my god, that's awesome. They don't have the neutral, which is actually the one I'm kind of thinking I'm getting, so. But, we'll see. But they have everything else. Well, yeah, but I don't mind. It's like, I, I like them both, but I just don't like to be hot. I don't like to be cold either, but at least when you're cold, you can cover up and stuff. When you're hot, you, you can do that if you can wear your shorts. You know, when you're hot, unless you have AC or something, you're just going to stay hot. At least when you're cold, you can bundle up and be warm. It's not like you can walk around naked in the summer. But even then, you'd still be hot. So, unless you have AC, especially when it's really hot today, right? So, we're going to go to CVS. You can do the ice bucket challenge. The ice bucket challenge, yeah. So, we're going to CVS. And... Yep, that's what we're doing. So we got our CVS stuff. Soda, what'd you get? Gatorade, bubble gum. Happy boy, right? And uh, what time is it? What time is it? It is.